वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द थियोरी ऑफ आर्किंग ग्राउंड लेट मी रिकेपचुलेट दिस सो इन द थियोरी ऑफ आर्किंग ग्राउंड व्हाट वी हैव वी हैव अ अनग्राउंडेड सिस्टम वेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी डिराइव दैट द चार्जिंग करंट विल गो थ्री थ्री टाइम्स टू द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल करंट सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सप्रेस इट by provide the natural ground okay so here um, i have a three phase system and uh, obviously this is uh, this is those are the charging current say so this is for phase um, so this is for phase r i r this is for yellow i y and this is for blue phase and uh, this is also not grounded right now so if some fault occur what will happen uh, the phase voltage here the phase voltage of this phase this phase will become root 3 times it will become root 3 times so uh, to avoid this problem what you need to do will will provide a ground will provide will provide a ground will provide a ground so uh, mainly there are three types though there is uh, also um, some classification but mainly there are three types of grounding system number one is solid grounding number two is number two is resistance grounding and number three is reactance grounding we we'll discuss all the all the um, method and uh, when we use which method okay so first let me discuss about the solid grounding solid grounding means solid grounding means there uh, there will be no path uh, in, in the in the ground uh, through the ground there will be no resistance it is it will be solidly grounded that means the resistance of the path resistance of the path in the ground is negligible is negligible okay resistance of the path is negligible so th that that means it is solidly grounded so what is the what is the benefit say whenever whenever this phase come uh, say b phase is in connection with the ground so, th so there is a lg fault which is very common you know that lg fault occur so uh, this fault will get a path through this okay so uh, so say um, so this is the fault current say this is the fault current this is the fault current so uh, during the fault during the fault um, as as uh, Uh, b phase is in connection with the ground so i b will become zero i will be, there will be no charging current so here the summation 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 of the charging current is what that is i r plus i y the charging current for the only for the healthy phase now as it is connected with the ground so if we apply kcl over here what we can write we can write that the i c is equal to The IF, so uh, in which direction the current will flow? So uh, first of all, here IR is flowing. Here, charging current due to phase, Y phase is flowing in that direction. So obviously, uh, due due to the fault, due to the fault, charging current will flow here uh, in phase B in opposite direction. In opposite direction. So uh, basically, basically what what happened actually? Uh, so uh, in in the previous case in the previous case in the previous case what happened in the previous case uh, here the voltage voltage here during the fault that 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 part the the neutral voltage will not um, longer to zero but here what happened as we have grounded it solidly so the neutral voltage will still it will remain zero so as the neutral voltage will remain zero so there is no chance of increasing the phase voltage 
in the previous case the phase voltage was increased by root 3 times root 3 times and the charging current will increase to 3 times but here there is no scope all because there is no change in no change in phase voltage why because here the potential will remain zero as it is solidly grounded and here the potential uh, here what will happen the potential is zero so obviously obviously uh, uh, there is no chance of increasing the resistance so now uh, now let me let me draw the phasor diagram let me draw the phasor diagram so uh, uh, first of all let me assume the system is obviously balanced system first case so this is a this is the potential this is the potential so, uh, say this is vr our uh, red phase voltage we have take it as a reference then this is say this is our vb and this is our v this is our vy uh, I, I have i have represent vb as dotted line because vb is zero right now so that's why so uh, uh what will be the charging current for this two phase so obviously the charging current will lead so this is this will be our ir charging current due to r phase and charging current due to y phase will be charging current due to y phase will be in that direction so this is i u i so whenever we will uh, draw the vector summation vector summation we'll get we'll get i b so this is this is i b or this is the charging current rather we can write the charging current so uh, the direction of the charging current or i b is in that direction so obviously obviously the fault current is flowing in that direction so so we can we can represent we can represent the fault current in that direction so this is our fault current so the fault current is fault, we always assume that the fault current is flowing in that direction from the phasor diagram we have evaluated I, IB so obviously the fault current will be in 180 degree phase difference with the IB so this is the phasor diagram for a solidly grounded system so so uh, in, in a solidly grounded system one thing you, you have to make sure the resistance of the path resistance of the grounding path have to be zero now what are the advantages and these are advantages of solidly grounded system uh, the advantages are uh, first of all first of all there is no chance of the increment of the phase voltage there is a main now there is another disadvantage of solid solidly earth system the disadvantage of it is, it is that uh, due to the flow of high current uh, due to the uh, due to the flow of heavy heavy fault current uh, th this path may damage okay because it, it will allow a huge fault current as the, the path as the you know, fault current fault current will face zero resistance path so it will try to flow as much as possible so this is the main problem we will face in the solidly grounded system so what we'll do we'll replace this system by providing by providing a resistance by providing a resistance a resistance the value of the resistance the value of the resistance will vary the value of the resistance will vary depending on the depending on the situation now uh, the resistance grounding we normally use where the charging current is small make a note okay when when we use resistance resistance uh, grounding when so uh, let me make a note of it uh, so resistance grounding is normally used where the charging current is where the charging current is small so what is the purpose of this resistance this resistance will limit the fault current this resistance will limit the fault current what is the disadvantage of this method the disadvantage is uh, due to the high current due to the high current uh, heat will generate here due to the high current heat will generate here so uh, it is it is also possible that uh, this this path may burn now uh, and another advantage is here it will limit the current so obviously obviously i square r loss or the or the heat loss during the during the fault uh, can be reduced okay and the last last we can we can use a inductance over there 
you can use an in-depth tensor for that. Okay, the purpose is same, just like current limiting reactor, the purpose purpose of use of inductor is same uh, as resistance. Now uh, there is a point. Now there is a point. Now there is a point. There is a point that <coughs> it will depend uh, when we when you use uh, the solid to ground system and when you use uh, reactance ground. So there is a there is a formula uh, that uh, we, we know what is zero sequence reactance and positive sequence reactance. If the ratio of zero sequence reactance to the positive reactance is greater than three, then then we'll use reactance grounding. Then we'll use the reactance grounding. Now, what what is the purpose here? The uh, as x zero is much much greater than x one, it is greater than three. That means the high there is a high charging current. So due to that, we need to use uh, uh, reactance grounding. And if x zero and uh, x one ratio is less than three in that case we can use solidly ground system but uh, rather we use uh, here a variable reactants that part i will cover in my next lecture this is known as peterson winding so thank you student for watching my video